What's up everyone, Train Freak here, and today I've got a Blair Line LLC Pile and Frame Timber Trestle. So this is a bridge that's going to go right here. So I will have to take some of this out, but before I take this out, I gotta build this first. So let's look and see exactly what all we got in the box. And I already went and opened it just to inspect. But we'll go ahead and take a look. Alright, so here's the bag of pieces. So we'll go over those individually. And I gotta pull out the instructions. Nothing else in the box, so we're good. We'll set that over off to the side. Alright, so. I love how it's step two on the first of that page. Oh, here we go. Step one. So I think it wants us to paint it first, so I've got a good paint for that. Here we go. Mission models. MMP123 Rail Tie Brown. So that's what I'm gonna use. It gives it a good creosote looking color. Okay. So here's our step. Instructions here, so that'll be helpful. Let's see. We have a, a guide. So it tells us how to build it. Or, or not how to build it, but it labels all the different pieces. Um, that we'll use So yeah, that's pretty cool Set that over there. Oh Here's the templates. So that's if we're doing straight. Oh Check this out So depending on the radius you could do 18 21 24 inch There's mine 28 inch so I'll have to use this template here. 32 inch, 36 inch, 42 inch radius, and even 48 inch radius. That's pretty awesome. All right, so let's look at all the pieces. So like I said, I've already opened this dude up for the most part. Alright, so we've got the intermediate bents. Oh, I like how they number that, number one. So that's those. Here's the end pieces, or the end bents. So I labeled it number two for a reason. And of course, these will be the abutments, the wooden abutments that will go up underneath. These are the different uh, pieces that bridge across and they give you six of those and you're supposed to glue them together before you cut them. So got those. These look like spare pieces. Oh yeah. Oh wow. They even got holes in them. I don't know how well you can see that. Let's see if I can get it. There's a little hole. Oh man, the camera's not picking it up well, but there's little holes in them. Yeah, kind of dark. And a piece of track. With the ties are a little bit wider, but you know what? I don't think I'm going to use this track. Uh, this is micro engineering, which is not bad track, don't get me wrong. But I don't think I'm going to use this. I think I'll take this piece of track out instead of cutting it and just use that piece of track all right so I guess the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start probably glue those together first in groups of three so that way I can get them together because they should look like that 
and then I could start cutting these with the template and then I'm going to paint. I'm just going to paint with this. Probably just use a brush. I could airbrush it. Airbrush, brush, doesn't really matter. But there you go. So that's what I'm going to work on next. Alrighty, so I've got the abutments, the beams, and the trestle piers, whatever they're called. I got them all painted up, and so the colors that I used was of course Mission Models Rail Tie Brown, that's MMP123. I am going to use a little bit of the MMW-001 Dark Rust. I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to. And it's going to go where you see these little bitty dots. They actually show up a little better in camera now than they did before. So right there, mainly on the cross beams, and that's to make it look like a rusted bolts. And then, of course, the bottom sections here, concrete, I ended up using uh, Tamiya XF55, which is deck tan. Um, looks really, really, really close to concrete. So the next thing I need to do, now that I've got these glued together and painted, is I'm going to have to put these on the template and start cutting uh, these sections out so that way we can go ahead and start making the curvature and we'll have to get those glued together which I'll just end up using wood glue so that's where I'm at so when I get this done here then we'll start talking about assembly okay so I got those cut glued together to the template you can see a little bit more of a bend on the outside than the inside one but it's pretty straight i was a little short so i had to line them up there it is lined up on that side i went ahead and got these glued so those are good there and then what i went ahead and did here was i rusted where the bolts are located so now time to glue this thing together and then we might do a little bit of dry brushing uh, to weather it some so we'll go ahead and get it glued touch up the paint and go from there all right so now our bridge is put together and i went ahead cut out the section uh, this was it right here Cut out the road bed that was on it too. But what I did before I cut it out, I actually measured. Took it, put it on top, and drew it out. But I got a little issue right here. So I'm going to have to widen this thing out here a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and widen it over here as well. Widen it in the back. And I had to take all the screen out. I had screen in here already. But now this will kind of give you that look of the bridge now the tricky thing about widening this side is i got to be careful i got a one by four right here it's a brace so i'm only going to be able to go all the way to that brace without taking that brace out and i really don't need to do that but i think this looks really really good so what i'm gonna go ahead and do now is take the bridge out go ahead and cut this out and see what it looks like with the bridge in. Oh, one of the things that I forgot to mention was I did a little bit of dry brushing on the bridge. If you look real closely, it's not as dark as it was. And I ended up using this Apple Barrel Country Gray to do a little bit of dry brushing. Just to kind of give it a little bit of age on this here bridge. So, okay, now I'm fixing to take the bridge out. All right, so now what I did was we, we cut out a little bit here. So that way we can make it kind of like, you know, a hill going this way and a hill going that way at the same time. Same thing on that side there. I went ahead and stapled some of the screen back. Um, but we got, a, we got a good cut. And I actually had to end up cutting part of the road bed mainly 
because of this section right here. So it just did not look right with the row bed extended past some of these timbers here. So I had to do that. Um, but the other thing I'm working on right now, and I've got it sitting sitting over off to the side being glued, is I've got a piece of board that's going to go up under this. And I'm using uh, an extra piece of uh, half inch plywood, such as this right here, uh, to kind of go up under these ends, like so. And that actually gives like a good, you know, build up there. And then I can, you know, make it look a little more like a heel. But, you know, it'll be sloped down here, sloped there. This here will be pretty flat. And then we can fill some of this in here with water. Um, not sure how much we'll fill in with water, but, you know, I would like these three uh, concrete beams submerged. So... But yeah, that's a, that's kind of where we're at with this. Um, I did get my pipe benders in. Uh, K&S Precision Metals. I got this from Micromark, but I'm sure if your hobby shop is a K&S uh, metal supplier, I'm sure they can order these. And then this is a 3 uh tube of brass. And 3 sixteenths, if, if I did my math correct, I think it's about a 16 inch pipe. So we'll have two of those. Uh, they'll, be, they'll be back here, but one for each, you know, side of the center trestle. So once I can get this all glued in where I like it, uh, then I'll look at trying to poke that pipe through. And we'll go that way. So, um, I'm probably going to go ahead and cut this off as this section of the video. I will do a part two on this later, which will plaster everything in, get the pipe put in. So, other than that, I um, appreciate you watching. If you really like uh, the content that I'm putting out, make sure you hit that subscribe, fill in the bell, and I'm telling you, like with YouTube's algorithm these days, it's so brutal. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Because um, if you don't, YouTube doesn't push out videos. And so, you know, we're all here to help each other in our community. So that's one thing that we need to be trying to do is thumbing up everybody's videos that we do watch. All right. So other than that, I'm going to let y'all have at it. Y'all be safe out there and happy railroading.